Hey guys, I'm here with Hilary Williams, and she's going to show me a counter to the hip escape from mount. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, when I lay this way, <laughs> when I've mounted my opponent, obviously this is one of the most important positions to get to, especially in MMA. It's a four-point move in jiu-jitsu. So what we want to do is we want to maintain this position. We don't want to give up dominant position. Normally, if I'm in mount, Joanne's going to try to get on her side, hip escape take me to half guard, and then I'm back to one big battle for the underhook, I've got to flatten her out, I've got to pass the guard again, and then get him out again. So the worst thing to do is to just let her get me back in the half guard. So, as Joanne starts to get on her side, there's a couple initial things I can do. You want to cross face to get your opponent flat. Be nice if it's a training partner. <laughs> if she's on her side, I'm going to peel the hand. But sometimes there's guys who are just relentless. They keep going, they keep going and there's really no stopping them. So, if I realize I'm kind of at the point of no return and she's pushing my leg, about to get underneath it, I take my top leg, I'm gonna tuck it to my butt, and pop to knee on belly. So again, here, as she's going, I take my foot, pop to knee on belly, and I'm even pushing myself back a little bit so that my shin can flatten her out. From there, I can either work whatever I've got from knee on belly, or I can work to go back to mount. So, at a little bit faster speed, I'm here, she has to go, I've got hooks, all right, I hopped to knee on belly, and I'm here with control. I hate knee on belly. Got it? Yeah. So as Joanne goes to push, 